The bench press is a, a great exercise as an upper body push. A lot of people do the bench press. A lot of people do it incorrectly in all honesty. Luckily it's one of those exercises, there's a lot of subtleties that if you miss some of the subtleties, you should still get the benefit from it and not put yourself at, at too much extra risk. However, one thing I always see people doing is having their legs up during bench press. When I ask them about it, they'll say, oh, we don't want to put too much stress on our low back, or having our legs on the ground arches the back, puts more stress on it. However, having your legs up actually puts more stress on the low back, okay? Especially if you're not able to brace your abdominals, which is very tough to do if you're actually moving some heavy weight with your arms. Okay, so what I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, is people at the gym, legs up like this, doing bench press. Okay? Once again, this isn't too bad if they're able to keep their hands engaged and protect their spine. However, if you're lifting heavy weight or doing a lot of reps, the, the result is people arching their back because their legs get heavy, they can't hold them, their hip flexors are getting tight too, and all those things are going to increase more stress. So for arching our back during that motion because it's just hard to hold our legs there, if we're activating our hip flexors instead of our core, those two things can exacerbate or make low back pain even worse. So you think you're trying to protect your low back, you actually may be increasing it after all. So instead, what we want to implement here is getting our glutes involved, getting our core involved, getting everything involved on the bench press or the bench press setup to help protect our spine. So as we're setting up bench, what we always try and get people to do is lock their shoulder blades back. So they're sitting on their shoulder blades. They have their knees bent and their feet underneath them. Then they're going to squeeze their glutes and tighten their abdominals. Okay, they may have an arch in their back in this position, but it should protect the spot, or it shouldn't be too bad because it's just a, a secondary or compensatory arch because our glutes are tight. When we tighten our glutes a lot, we just kind of arch our back due to the musculature. Also, it shouldn't be an issue because all these muscles, our core, our glutes, are protecting our spine here. Okay, if you want, you can have your, your feet um, bent 90 degrees. Okay, so your back can still be on the table, but make sure you're still squeezing the glutes, keeping the abs tight. Okay, so if you're worried about bringing your feet in this direction due to a back arch, have your knees bent, plant them, and make sure you're pushing through your feet in any position you're doing, especially if you're lifting heavy loads. You're not going to be able to get to your high levels if you're not pushing through the down, ground. So make sure if you're doing bench press, you know what you're getting into, whether you're putting your legs up or putting them down, bending your knees 90 degrees or bending your knees 130 degrees. You know what the risks are for each one. But like I said, if your legs are up, I'll argue you're putting more stress on the low back than if you're having your knees bent either 130 degrees or 90 degrees.